Thank you for joining us on another edition of the Florida Chamber's Bottom Line. My name is Christopher Emanuel. I'm the Director of Infrastructure and Governance Policy at the Florida Chamber of Commerce, and I'm thrilled to have a good friend of mine and into the Chamber, Grayson Brulte of Brulte & Company here today. He's an autonomous vehicle expert and uh, one of the people at the forefront of making sure that Florida is competitive in the autonomous vehicle realm. Grayson, it's great to have you here. Um, can you talk a little bit about um, what kind of innovations we're seeing in the autonomous vehicle community and kind of what we can expect in the next five to ten years? Sure, so you're seeing a massive change in society and it's not just autonomous vehicles, it's autonomy. Every aspect of transportation and mobility is going to change. To sum it up, a child born in the last four years will never drive a vehicle on a public road. it will be full level five autonomy that will take those child to and from school. If you're a Florida resident living in an area and you want to send your, your child to school, you'll be able to summon on your, on your smartphone an autonomous vehicle, put your child in that vehicle, that vehicle will then take your child to school. And when the child arrives at school, the parent will get a notification on their phone that says, child, your child has arrived at school, would you like to unlock the doors? Yes, no. Yes, the child's there safely at school. Because you're giving the parents all the control, so a child can't open the door at a stop sign. A bad actor cannot try and, and jump in the vehicle. The parent is inherently in control. And it's, there's different examples like that. And then if you have an, an elderly parent that's going through the natural aging process, they have their freedom. They will allow them to then go to the beauty parlor or to go play bridge. And you're no longer going to have to worry about them, oh, you know, we have to have the taking over the keys conversation. That all goes away. And they're giving them their freedom back. And the regulatory environment that this state has created under the leadership of Governor Scott and Senator Brandis is phenomenal. You're opening the doors to allow the future of innovation to prosper, and it's happening right here in Florida. You talked a little bit about the leadership that Florida is showing the autonomous vehicle community. What are we doing right, and what things do we need to keep doing to remain competitive? You're doing everything right. You're, you're putting out, you're opening the door and saying, come invest in Florida, do business here in Florida. The laws that are on the books are absolutely fantastically phenomenal because the way that the law is currently written, you can run a level five autonomous vehicle on public roads in Florida without a driver. It's game changing. Because in the, in the future, there will no longer be drivers. The vehicle will, will drive the car. And so when you eliminate the steering wheel and you eliminate the brakes and the gas pedal, think of all the opportunities that can happen with that vehicle. Here in Florida, I'll give you an example for, to for tourism. It's phenomenal. And um, which I'm a big fan of, and it's no surprise if you know, is Walt, is Walt Disney World. And when a family coming into MCO lands, they'll be able to summon an autonomous vehicle. And I'll give you an example. If they're staying at the Star Wars Hotel, a fully branded Star Wars autonomous vehicle will, will come and pick them up. They'll get in the vehicle. And when they're in that vehicle, they'll never see daylight. They'll see like they're in the galaxy. And that vehicle will drive them to the new Star Wars Hotel. But the family will think that they're flying because it's part of the Im immersive experience that's happening for Disney. And when they're arriving at the new Star Wars Hotel, the, v the plane will come to land. But meanwhile, it's just a vehicle driving in. And they're fully on the starship, ready to have that interactive experience. And so you're going to see things like that that can only happen in Florida. We've got a lot of business leaders that um, are members of the chamber and viewers of uh, the bottom line. What message would you like to give to the Florida's business community as we seek to embrace this technology? I mean, for Florida's business community, continue to invest. And while you continue to invest, have conversations. And a recent conversation that I had was with several professional sports teams throughout the state. And they're like, what can we do that's different that no other state can do? And I'm like, you need to create an autonomous vehicle service for game days. Take the fans from the hotels uh, and their homes to the stadiums and to have this complete immersive experience. And that can only be done here in Florida because of your regulatory environment. And when that is prototyped and working really well, export it to the leagues and take it and then create all these immersive entertainment experiences that you can only do here in Florida. And then when it's, pr it's prototyped, proving working, export it to the rest of the country and then eventually export it to the rest of the world. And that will allow the businesses to create new lines of business. We provide just this service and you're seeing it with sports leagues are doing on-demand OTT streaming services. Well, could the sports leagues then do on-demand autonomous vehicle services and then take all the content from the OTT that they own all the IP for and they own all the rights, put it in those vehicles, and then you could put retired players and have this complete immersive experience. We're just beginning to scratch the surface.
Grayson, thank you for being here. Thank you for your advocacy in autonomous vehicles. And thank you for all the work that you do for Florida. You're and thank you to our viewers for watching another edition of the Florida Chamber's Bottom Line.